So Jake, sharpening the speed here today, how did yeah. that go for you? Uh, the time was right. I wanted to win it, just to announce for the comeback. And I thought with 100 to go, I had a chance, but Bryce came through strong and yeah, people were moving all over the place. And third is okay, 144.1 is one of my fastest times. So I can't complain with that. Mm. And we saw those impressive kind of comeback runs, I suppose, down under earlier okay. this year, but <laughs> yeah, okay. just okay. But like, how do you feel your fitness has progressed since then? I always knew that that was a stepping stone towards summer. So I'd swallow my pride a bit and know that when I raced those odds races, it was going to be at like not obviously full percent. Um, as good as I now, I've had a month in flag and I've had unbroken training since about October. So. Looking forward to getting out of pre next week. Um, yeah, I, I was most nervous about this because the biggest fear is that when you haven't ran for that amount of time that like I did last year, is your speed going to be the same? So to be able to run 144 low, I'm fine. And I've got a couple of months now to get even better than this. And what's the plan for the weeks ahead? Uh, I've got pre mile, back to the fire next week. Uh, Stockholm 800, New York 1500. Mm. And like, it, does it suit you this year, kind of after missing last year, I suppose, where all the talk is pretty much now on Josh and Jakob? Oh uh, yeah, like, mad how quickly you get forgotten, right? It's like, I didn't even race or run bad, I just didn't race. So it's like, people forget you exist a little bit. And for me, I went into the 2022 season, not spoken about under the radar. And if that's exactly the same this year, then great, like, I'd rather have it that way. Mm. And obviously we've seen your speed is in a great place, like, but how do you feel the kind of, 1500 specific fitnesses and the over distance work? I feel as though like, my 5k stuff has been as good as it ever has been. I've done some good 15 sessions. My biggest honestly concern was I've done like one 8 session and a little 600 time trial. So I had a bit of an indicator that I was going okay over 8. But it's nice to get back racing just to get the most out of yourself because I don't enjoy training but I love racing and uh, I feel as though it squeezes that a little bit more out of me. So. Good to be back in the summer season for stuff. Final question, it's an obvious one, but you haven't been tempted to engage in the trash talk at all in recent months? Well, I think there's not really anything I can say when I haven't raced. Um, again, I've said it before, like, it's a final of 12 people, and the depth of our event means it's not just one, two, three, or four, it's potentially 12 people now that are running at a level that could potentially win the gold in Paris. So I consider myself hopefully one of those. And there's a lot of others that don't get named who I think are going to be more dangerous than people think. Um, this season will tell, these next couple of months. And next week will be small indicators, but nothing matters until July. Thanks, Jake. Thanks.